Today I've got a problem from the Oxford University Mathematics Admissions Test. The numbers x and y satisfy x minus 1 squared plus y squared is less than or equal to 1. The largest value that x plus y can be is which of these four numbers? Okay, let's get stuck right into this. So uh, the first thing we're going to do is just plug in some numbers. And you can play around with this. And I notice, for example, that 1, 1 works. So when x is 1 and y is 1, this inequality works, which means I can get 2. That doesn't actually really help me because it doesn't eliminate anything. Uh, another thing I notice is, well, both these terms here are non-negative. So I can certainly find an upper bound to this. It won't, won't be the best upper bound, but it will be an upper bound. Um, so this thing squared definitely can't be bigger than 1, and this thing squared definitely can't be bigger than 1. So that tells me that x must be less than or equal to 2, because if x is bigger than 2, x minus 1 will be bigger than 1, and so when you square it, it will be bigger than 1. And similarly, y must be less than or equal to 1. And so therefore, the absolute maximum that x plus y can be is 2 plus 1, which is 3. And 2 plus root 2, well, that's bigger than 3, so I can ignore that. But also I can rule out 3 as well, because if x plus y equaled 3, then x would be 2 and y would be 1. But then I'd have 1 plus 1, which is 2, not less than or equal to 1. So it can't be 3 either. Okay, so I'm now left with either A or B. And now you could maybe play around with this a little bit more, but I'm going to be sh showing you how to solve this using a picture. So this thing here looks super familiar. This is like a disk. So... Uh, or a circle. So if we draw this up, it's got center 1, 0, and radius 1. So the center is maybe there, and the radius is 1. So I'm going to try my best to draw this. That's a horrible circle. But you get the idea. So the center is 1, and the radius there is 1 as well. Okay, cool. And let me just change color. So now what do we want? We want to maximize the value of x plus y. So let's say that x plus y equals k, like so. And what we want to do is maximize the value of k. Well, what does this line look like? Well, it's going to look, depending on what k is, like a kind of line going across like this sort of thing. And all we need is that the blue line has to touch the circle at least once somewhere or intersect the circle at least once. So if I want to maximize the value of k, that corresponds to bringing these lines higher and higher and higher. And so what's the highest point that I can bring this line? Well, it's somewhere roughly here so that I get a tangent to the circle, like so. And so now I can use geometric properties to help me work out what k is. Um, now, you can actually do this very quickly by um, elimination here. Um, so we can think about, OK, x plus y equals k. This point here is k. This point here on the y-axis is also k. And we know that this distance here is 1. Um, so what I'm going to do is just do a bit of uh, geometry here. So this triangle. Um, this big blue triangle here uh, is an isosceles triangle. It doesn't really look like it, but it is an isosceles triangle because uh, it's two of its side lengths are the same. So this angle there is 45 degrees. And this length here is 1, and so we can just use a bit of Pythagoras. This is also 45 degrees. It's an isosceles right angle triangle. And so therefore, this distance here must be root 2. And now we can clearly see that root 2 plus 1 equals k. Uh, sorry, root 2 yeah, plus 1 equals k, and so the answer, therefore, is b. So I got this equation here by noticing that this distance here is k, which is just this root 2 that I've got here, plus 1 radius of the circle, and so the answer here is 1 plus root 2, which, notice, is bigger than 2. A pretty nice problem here. Um, this is the way that you would solve it, you know, kind of directly, um, but you definitely can eliminate some options, and certainly under time pressure, maybe if you don't think to use this method, it's useful to know if you can eliminate some options as well. There's probably a nice way to eliminate 2 as well. It's quite small, uh, certainly compared to 3 and 2 plus root 2. But uh, this number here is roughly 2.4, so only a little bit bigger than 2. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Have a great day.